Year 9. Today, I will be talking to you about a radioisotope that is used in more than 80% of nuclear medicine procedures worldwide, Technetium 99M. This radioisotope is used to image the lungs, brain, heart, gallbladder, the skeleton, kidney, liver, and to discover infections. Technetium 99M produces gamma rays and is injected into the body and the radioisotope is carried through the bloodstream. The gamma ray output is then studied with a gamma camera. There are many benefits with using technetium. This includes its short half-life of 6 hours. This is ideal for imaging organs of the body and minimizes radiation dose to the patient. In hospitals, this time period of a few hours allows the material to be chemically extracted, placed in a serum, and then injected into the patient and allows for gamma scans to take valid pictures of the patient's body. Technetium 99M also has various characteristics that make it safer compared to other isotopes, such as its slow gamma ray radiation. This means that it can be easily identified by gamma ray cameras while sending out clear signals for a short time and thus making medical use quick and efficient. Again, the low radiation reduces damage to tissues as it allows the use of reduced quantities. This radioisotope is reactive, and different forms of technetium 99M can lead to concentration in a specific organ. Then, it is quickly eliminated from the body with no side effects. But there are also problems when using technetium 99M. Due to its short half-life, the radioisotope must be generated and used every day. The quick deterioration of technetium 99M can mean that only a limited number of patients can be treated and thus be subject to the availability of the isotope. To produce technetium 99M is also quite pricey. In order to produce the isotope, it requires a nuclear reactor, which then results in radioactive waste. Also, technetium is produced in large quantities and generates unwanted radioactive waste, adding to the environmental problem. Although Technetium 99M is widely used in diagnostic treatment, there are still disadvantageous effects such as the radiation exposure. The radiation originates from inside the patient and can expose others to secondhand radiation. But the real question is, do the benefits outweigh the problems associated? By weighing out the benefits and problems associated with the use of Technetium 99M, it can be learned that while this radioisotope does minimal damage to the patient, it is also expensive to produce and has detrimental effects to the environment. Nevertheless, it cannot be ignored that this radioisotope is the most widely used in medicine and its properties make it safer than many other isotopes. In conclusion, it can be said that Technetium 99M is a significant tool that helps more than it hurts and with more investigation and knowledge, it can be put to even safer use and continue to benefit all associated with the material.